Melbourne Water look after many wetlands located all across the Melbourne area, and some of these wetlands have a long history. The Edithvale Seaford wetlands were once part of the much bigger Karam Karam Swamp, which covered the land for hundreds of years. This is Graham Whitehead. He's an expert in our local history and knows all about the way people used to live in this area. The Karam Swamp has a very rich history, both for the people who live there and the events that took place there. This area, where the Edithvale and Seaford wetlands are now located, was traditionally the territory of the Boomerang language group, which was made up of at least six groups who spoke the language. These groups lived off the lands that covered the coastal strip around Port Phillip Bay and Western Port, hunting, fishing and raising their families. The Europeans, the white men, after the gold rushes in the 1850s, they wanted land to farm. So the government did a number of surveys of the Karam Swamp and the surveyors said that the land was very rich, but it needed to be drained. Despite this fact, the government decided in 1871 to make the land available to a group of men and their families to clear, farm and live on. Excess water continued to be a problem. One man couldn't reach the end of his property unless he rode his rowing boat. And my great-grandfather, he was down there as well, and he had trouble putting the posts of his fencing in because the soil was soggy with water. So things were very, very difficult. In 1879, Patterson's Cut was made through the sand dunes separating the swamp from the ocean to help drain some of the water into Port Phillip Bay, making conditions a bit more livable for the farmers and their families. Flooding was a continuing problem. 1904 was a big flood. And for almost every 10 years, there was a big flood. 1952, almost a thousand homes had to be evacuated because of excess water. Eventually, drainage engineers were able to build drains and barriers to protect the houses from flooding. The remaining wetlands here at Edith Vale and Seaford also helped to keep the houses from being flooded by storing floodwaters. Today there is still evidence of how it was in the past. Here at Edith Vale wetlands you can still see the conditions under which these early settlers lived. Can you imagine having to walk through knee-deep water just to get milk from the local shops? You can find out more about local past happenings at the Parkdale Library or the Chelsea Historical Society.